Hey there guys, welcome back to the Mega YouTube channel. Today we've got a, another light in from Viper Spectra. It's their P2000 model. I tested the smaller version of this about a year ago, um, the P1000, and I really liked it. It was quite innovative at the time because Viper Spectra, who are a big uh, manufacturer, were um, previously had only done really the, the blurple boxes, and this is one of the first white lights that they um, produced. And it was around the time when other big um, manufacturers like Spider Farmer and Mars Hydro were switching over to. Mars Hydro and Spider Farmer have the um, similar sort of LED board, but they use the, the aluminium reflector, sort of baking tin reflector. Um, and this, I think, in terms of form and function, is a bit of a step up. It's got, uh, feels much more solid to me. Um, I just like the, uh, the solidity of the fins on the back here, you can see um, the good cooling, but also nice looking and uh, functional. You got the little end plates with the hanging hooks, the driver mounted on the central beam which separated from the um, heatsink so that there's not too much heat transfer between them, keeps the driver as cool as possible. Uh, hangs straight out of the box, so it's really easy to uh, assemble and put together. Very little to do, just basically attach the, the clips on and plug it in. Plug itself and the power lead is quite generous. It's about six foot or two meters, six, seven foot, two meters in length, which is pretty good, pretty generous. Um, little criticism would be the wires that they come with, the hanging wires. This height here from the ratchet hanger down to the light is about 20 inches about 40 centimeters, which is probably a little bit much. They could be shorter and just allow you to um, hang them closer to the top of the tent. You've got dimming here on all the models. So you can um, reduce power consumption and uh, treat your seedlings and young plants a little bit, um, a bit kinder for the early stages of growth. LED wise, got a mixture here of um, 5k cool white and 3k warmer white LEDs as well as um, reds for enhanced efficiency and um, you can see them even illuminated but there's there's far red ones here very dully lit just to round off the spectrum. did take a spectrum reading um, earlier on and uh, you can see here from the uh, where's it going? My, uh, Sensitech Passport Spectra Radiometer. I took a reading with that and as you can see from the app output there the, uh, the full spectrum so it's got plenty of blue, green and red and that little bit of far red as I said to um, for uh, full spectrum seed to harvest um, growing. Uh, it's only the one light needed. It's 197 watts consumed, so it's the 200 watt model, it drew 197 watts in the test. I put it into a 4 foot by 2 foot space, or 120 by 60 centimeter space, which is what it's specified for. And when I was optimi optimizing the hanging height, which means dropping it down until uh, on the quantum sensor, the quantum sensor or the power meter dead center underneath, until they get a maximum reading in the center of a thousand micromoles um, and the that hanging height was 19 inches or about 40 centimeters which is pretty much bang on what Viper Spectra recommends which is 20 inches so really happy to see um, that uh, you know they're specifying the hanging height correctly so took eight by four grid of measurements power measurements with the um, Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor and by doing that you get to see the total power output, the total light output from the fixture onto the theoretical plant canopy. But you also get to see the spread. You can see here that the um, system efficiency, so the total light output or power output divided by the watts consumed is 2.0 micromoles per watt which is a good system efficiency, especially seeing as this light is extremely good value. Um, it is uh, well, well, well below a dollar a watt. Um, so yeah, for that 
price, the performance is excellent. The spread's not perfect, not that hanging height particularly. You could raise it up just a little bit and spread the light a little bit wider um, and lose a little bit of the efficiency, but uh, that would give you a decent spread. Um, or, given the price that these are at, you could also put two of them in a 4x2. You'd be pushing the average power level up over a thousand micromoles, but um, you know, that's a nice performance level and uh, the price that these guys are at um, would not hurt you too much in the pocket either. Viper Spectra have sponsored us for this video and there is a Migro code in the link below. If you're thinking about buying this one or any of the Viper Spectra products, please use the link below and the Migro code. You get an extra discount. We also help um, support this channel and I'd much appreciate it. Um, so yeah, recommend the Viper Spectra P2000. Nice little light, good build quality, good efficiency for its and extremely good value for money. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.